Hey guys, you're here. Welcome back to our OBGYN Sonography Rates Review. Feel free to pause the video after I ask the question to give me enough time to answer it before I answer it. Let's dive into this thing. The upper lip and nostrils are best visualized where? A. Sagittal B. Coronal C. Transverse or D. Oblique Coronal Plane The answer is D, oblique coronal plane. What type of ultrasound appearance will follicular cysts show? A, posterior attenuation. B, speed error artifacts. C, posterior acoustic enhancement. Or D, mirror imaging. The answer is C, posterior acoustic enhancement, which is not associated with a single umbilical artery. A, triploidy, B, Patel syndrome, C, Down syndrome, or D, Edward syndrome. The answer is C, Down syndrome, which is associated with this ultrasound. A, triploidy, B, Patel syndrome, C, Down syndrome, or D, Edwards syndrome. The answer is B, Patel syndrome. This ultrasound represents cyclopia. Click on the structure fed by the spiral artery. The answer is going to be right along here. What type of ultrasound appearance will an ovarian fibroma show? A. Posterior attenuation B. Speed error artifacts C. Posterior acoustic enhancement or D. Mirror imaging The answer is A. Posterior attenuation. Any fluid filled structure will cause which of the following? A. Posterior attenuation. B. Speed error artifacts. C. Posterior acoustic enhancement. Or D. Mirror imaging. The answer is C, posterior acoustic enhancement. What does this image demonstrate? A, cervical fibroid, B, intramural fibroid, C, subsural fibroid, or D, submucosal fibroid. The answer is D, submucosal fibroid. What does this image demonstrate? A, biopsy needle, B, reverberation, C, IUD, or D, e -shirt device.
The answer is C, IUD. On what day of the menstrual cycle will the follicular size dramatically decrease? A, day 7, B, day 1, C, day 28, or D, day 14. The answer is D, day 14. Which is not an abnormal external genitalia in the male? A, micropenis, B, hypospadias, C, undescended testicles, or D, ovarian cysts? The answer is obviously ovarian cysts. Which is not an ultrasound finding of bladder extrophy? A, lower abdominal wall mass inferior to the umbilicus. B, absent urinary bladder. C, normal kidneys. Or D, abnormal amniotic fluid volume. The answer is D, abnormal amniotic fluid volume. You will actually have normal amniotic fluid volumes. What does this image show? A, hydrocele, B, bladder extrophy, C, megacystitis, or D, exomphalos. The answer is B, bladder extrophy. Which measurement helps determine gestational age? A, femur length, B, head circumference, C, biparietal diameter, or D, abdominal circumference? The answer is A, femur length. Which is the most accurate measurement to determine gestational age? A, femur length, B, head circumference, C, biparietal diameter, or D, crown rump length? The answer is D, crown rump length. Which AFI is the beginning of polyhydramnios? A, 4 centimeters, B, 18 centimeters, C, 23 centimeters, or D, 10 centimeters? The answer is C, 23 centimeters. When ovarian malignancies are suspected, when should Doppler be performed during the menstrual cycle? A. 8 to 11 days, B. 1 to 2 days, C. 3 to 7 days, or D. 12 to 15 days? The answer is C. Three to seven days. Click on the right MCA. The answer is right in this region here. All of this right here is the right MCA. What is the situs of this fetus? A. Situs solitis. B. Situs inversus. C. Situs ambiguous. Or D. Situs transfigurus. The answer is B, situs inversus. What is the situs of this fetus? A, situs solitis, B, situs inversus, C, situs ambiguous, 
or do satis transfigures. The answer is C, situs ambiguous. What are the benefits of this probe? A, 1.5D array imaging. B, superficial imaging. C, 3D, 4D images. Or D, extended field of view. The answer is C, 3D, 4D images. If any of you have any questions about your upcoming OBGYN boards, feel free to reach out to me at ultrasoundboardofview at gmail.com or you can personally text or call at 435-922-1635. If you're looking for extra study material, go to my website, ultrasoundboardreview. Click the top here. Click enter the pass zone. Scroll down until you see OBGYN stenography mock exams. Click that, scroll down, and then click subscribe. I'm Jim with Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.